Hose A takes three hours to fill a tank. Hose B takes five hours to fill a tank. Hose A runs for one hour by itself. After one hour, both A and B are used to fill the tank. How many total hours does it take to fill the tank? For these types of questions, a diagram, a diagram is always helpful to kind of visually see what's, what's actually happening here. So we have two sources of water. We have hose A, and if it's working by itself, it would take a total of three hours to fill this tank. We also have hose B, and when working by itself, hose B would take five hours to fill the tank. This is a work equals rate times time question. Um, and hopefully you recognize this equation. If you take physics, I'm sure you do. But this is something you definitely need to memorize. W equals RT. So what we want to do is we want to make separate equations for both hose A and hose B. So we have the work that hose A does is equal to the rate that it works times the time that it works. We make a separate equation for hose B. B and WB is equal to RB times TB. The work that it's doing is just filling up the tank. So let's call that one unit of work. The rate is what we need to figure out. And the time it takes is 3. So the rate that it's working is 1 over 3. We do the same thing for hose B. The work that it's doing is just one unit of work. The rate would be what we need to determine. and in in this case, it would take five hours, so the rate of hose B is one-fifth. Now, it's saying that hose A runs for one hour by itself. So we need to figure out the work that it does in one hour. We figured out, and we're just going to use this W equals RT equation again, the work that it does at the rate that it's working, which is one-third, running for one total hour, it basically does one-third of the work. Now after that one hour, both A and B are used to fill the tank. So now we can't do these separately. We need to figure out what the total or our total is equal to. In this case, it would be RA plus RB, both of the hoses working at the same time. So rate A, the rate of A plus the rate of B, we get the lowest common multiple, or I'm sorry, the lowest common denominator, that'd be 3 fifteenths. 5 fifteenths rather plus 3 fifteenths is equal to 8 fifteenths which means to say at a combined rate they work at 8 fifteenths so now we plug that into our work equals rate times time equation again but remember that Jose by itself has already done one-third of the work so the work that needs to be or is, is left to do would be the total work which is a tank minus what Jose has already accomplished. That's equal to our total, which is 8 over 15 times t. So 2 thirds is equal to 8 over 15 times t. And if we multiply both sides by 15 over 8, we're left with t. And we get 5 fourths is equal to t, or 1 and a quarter hour.